Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're starting a new chapter in statistics dealing with sample, and particularly sample variability. Why do we sample? Well, a population can be very large. Assume that we have a population, let's say all the people in the state of California. That's a lot of people, that's a huge population. And we can just go ahead and count every single person and see what all the particular characteristics are. So we may want to sample the population, take a small number of the total, and then make inferences on the total population. So that's why we sample. But of course, there's going to be sample variability depending upon how large our sample size is and whether or not we pick the right portion of the population. So we have to remember that population is very large, but a sample has the capability of representing the population if we do things right. What are some of the things we want to do with the sample information? Well, there's typically three things we want to do. We want to find, and this of course references the total population by manipulating and calculating and dealing with the sample. We want to measure the central, the central tendency of the population. In other words, we want to find the mean of the population by using the sample. We also want to use or calculate the measure of dispersion. That's a fancy way of saying we want to find the standard deviation. We can, of course, have large standard deviations where the data spread far away from the mean, or we can have small standard deviations where all the numbers are close to the mean. And then we may want to determine the type of distribution that we have in the population. Typically, we would expect a normal distribution, but it could also be skewed. In this case, it's skewed to the right, because notice here that the mean is somewhere on this side, so more of the data is skewed towards the right. Or it could be rectangular in shape, or it can be U-shaped, or it could be a number of other different shapes. So we want to measure the central tendency, which is the mean. We want to find the standard deviation known as the measure of dispersion. And we want to know what kind of distribution we're dealing with. All that can be determined by taking a relatively small sample of a large population. In this case, we see that the sample size is two out of a large set of numbers. And that small set of two could represent the total population. Again, if we do things correctly. So this chapter is going to be all about how to deal with the samples to get more information about the population. And that is what we'll do in this chapter.